All right, well, let's get into the Bills then. Uh, all right, Bills have the fifth hardest schedule. Um, they've got Kansas City and San Francisco on their schedule. Um, I would think if they didn't play anybody else, that would be enough to make it the fifth hardest schedule. Uh, that's pretty significant. Um, all right, Sean McDermott. I like Sean McDermott. I, he was a coach of the year in 2019. Um, he had a top 10 defense when he was a uh, coordinator with Carolina from 2015, 2017. But as a head coach, he's only been nine and seven. Six and ten, and ten and six. He's never won the AFC East, but I'll, I'll give him. I mean, I'll give him a pass on that, right? I mean, out of twenty years, one team won seventeen of them, so uh, you can't really get on too much. But the thing about Sean McDermott, I think this is this is his shit or get off the pot year. This is he he doesn't show out this year. He doesn't have a job. There's no reason. I mean. Um, I, I just read, you know, we went nine and seven, six and 10 and 10 and six. He comes out again. He, you know, he goes seven and nine. If I was an owner, I, I, I mean, he would have to give me a really good reason to invest another year in him. I, I don't know what his contract looks like. Um, but I, I would just think this is the year that he doesn't have any excuses after this. And so I, I, I think that, I mean, that can work in his favor. It can work against him. Right. I don't know if it's, it's too much pressure. I don't know if it's something that he's looking forward to. The AFC top, it, is wide open. We've all, the AFC East, we've talked about it. Um, Buffalo can certainly show out, finally do what they haven't done for a long time and and win the division. Um, you know, and is it more pressure? Maybe, may, is it more pressure because he's he's expected to win? I, I don't I don't know. Um, but I've also got them in the 9-7 and seven to 11-5 swing. It'll, it'll depend on how the other teams do, how they do. Um, a lot of parity in the top three teams. Yeah, I got him. I got him going a little bit better than that at twelve and four, six and zero in the division. Uh, I like Sean McDermott. He took him to the playoffs two years. Uh, Brian DeBole, is that how you say his last name? The offensive coordinator. Uh, he's a he's a Belichick and Saban kind of guy. He's won five Super Bowls and a national championship coaching underneath them. And their defensive coordinator is Leslie Frazier. So I. I think this is going to be the year for Buffalo. Uh, they're going to take it 12 and four, sweep the entire division. They have three returning pro bowlers, two on the defensive side. Josh Allen's playing great. He's on the way up. Uh, Devin Singletary showed promise last year. I think he's going to step up. And they acquired Stefan Diggs, who's just an absolute monster. Uh, and then you have John Brown on the outside, Cole Beasley in the slot. I think they'll do well. Yeah, no doubt. They, they did a good job of, for as much talent as they had, they got even deeper this year. Like you said, bringing in uh, Stefan Diggs is going to open everything up. You know, John Brown was – he was with the uh, Ravens, I believe it was, for a little while and could never really get going at all. In his first year with the Bills, he had 72 catches for 1,060 yards and six touchdowns. And then you have Cole Beasley, who's – always been serviceable. He did pretty good with the Cowboys. Uh, he provided another six touchdowns for Josh Allen. Um, you know, the, the offensive line isn't the greatest, uh, and they didn't really go that way in the draft. But, um, you know, with Josh Allen's athletic ability and being able to get outside the pocket and run and run for touchdowns, <clears throat> he's also gotten better at protecting the ball. Um, still had nine interceptions last year. Um, I'm sure he'll work, keep working to bring that number down. Um, but to have 29 total touchdowns and over 3,500 total yards and was his second or third year now, um, pretty good for a young guy. And then he gets his, another veteran receiver. Um, and then the defense, you know, up in the air, what, what's going to happen with Ed Oliver? He's – He's a beast of a man, you know, he's, he's a monster. Um, but he might not be there for at least a couple games. Jerry Hughes, um, former Colt, still don't know why we released him. He's one of the best edge rushers in the league. And uh, they drafted a guy, A.J. Epinesa. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, he's supposed to be a beast. I, I'm not a huge college football guy, so I don't know much about him. Um, but I've heard a lot of really good things about him. Uh, like in the the schedule, the having one of the hardest schedules 
is going to work against them a little bit, but I still have them going 13 and three this year. Wow. I, I, I want to say, uh, you know, with you, with you at 13 and three and Zach, you at 12 and four, that if, if you ask me to rank these teams and in, in the probability that they'd win the division, I would have Buffalo at the top uh, and probably New England and then Miami and, and, and the Jets. Um, you know, I, I know everything we talked about, I think I explained a lot of the variables. We talked about a lot of things, but when, when push comes to shove, I think from a probability standpoint, um, I, I'd rank the teams in, in that order with Buffalo having, having the greatest opportunity. Um, but this will be a fun division to watch, like I said. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good one this year. Yeah.